It's time for Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. This is Comedy Forecast, episode 706, Dog Days of Podcasting Edition. Do rate thee. <laughs> Every August, the Dog Days of Podcasting event challenges podcasters to create a new show every single day of the month. Or at least as many days as they can. Comedy Forecast has been a participant virtually every year since the challenge began. During last year's event we looked at one odd news story each day. And we're doing it again this year. Be sure to subscribe, so you never miss an episode. And, to hear all the content being created by everyone participating in this year's event, go to dogdaysofpodcasting.com. Thank you. Well, hi, folks. Clinton here, and here is today's odd news story. Two national experts have declared that the best pizza city in America is... No, not that one. It, no, wrong again. Is it, no, Stop guessing. It's Portland, Oregon. You heard me right. Rose City has the best pizza your money can buy. But hold on. Two national pizza experts. Who are these two national pizza experts? Great question. One is Nathan Myharvold, the former chief technology officer at Microsoft. Okay, that checks out, makes total sense. CTOs are internationally known for their outstanding taste buds. And the other expert is Francisco Maigoya head chef at Modernist Cuisine in Seattle. Oh, did I mention that they just happened to have co-authored a new book called Modernist Pizza? I sense a cheesy promotion here. After all, their book is actually a three-volume, 1,700-page monster. Maybe they named Portland the best city for pizza to atone for all the trees around Stumptown they'll have to chop down to print this thing. Oh, and the best part? It will only set you back $425. You can afford that, right? I mean, after all, that's less than the cost of your daily slice of pizza in the morning. With a word like modernist sprinkled throughout their resume, it's no surprise that my Harvold and my Goya tended to favor artisanal pizzas in their ratings. You know, the kind of pizzas that are lovingly handcrafted, using only clean, fresh ingredients— and baked in brick ovens ironically constructed from the bricks of demolished oven-making factories. These are masterpieces. You will want to hang them on the wall of your three-bedroom studio apartment. No, not that one. The one that overlooks the bay. Yeah. I have a different criteria for pizza. And while I'm no chief technology officer or head chef at post-brutalism kitchens, I have eaten pizza which clearly makes me an expert. I say the best slice of pizza you can get is the slice of pizza you can get. Okay, maybe sometimes it's a bit greasy, or has too much cheese, or someone serves you a slice with pineapple on it. Hey, it's a pizza! It's like ice cream. Sometimes you get handed frozen yogurt or sherbet instead. That's okay. Just don't make a habit of it, all right? Today is Pizza Friday, even if you're listening to this when it's not Friday. So, get out there and enjoy any pizza you can. You heard me. Forget the idea that this city or that restaurant has the best pies. It doesn't matter. You can go, hmm? I can set up an affiliate link for that book and get a percentage of the $4.25 cover price? (laughs) Hello, Portland. I'm crossing the river to Bridgetown in a Cadillac. But for now, that's it. We're done, 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 done. Bye-bye. Episode contents, including story and music, by Clinton Alvord. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.